Hey everyone, my name is Melly. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I did mention a couple of videos ago that I was thinking about doing like a mini series of trying different types of exercise videos. Um, since we are in quarantine and a lot of gyms are not real safe right now, I decided to go ahead and try this out and see how it goes. Um, I have done meditation and yoga with Adrienne who I will list down below for you. Um, I've done her videos off and on uh, since quarantine started. I did take a bit of a break and now I'm back at it again. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, please do not judge. I am not a professional yoga instructor. I'm not trying to instruct anybody. I'm simply just showing you the video that I did. Um, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. Um, one of the things I love about Yoga with Adrienne is she's very chill. Um, she is a chill person and I love that. Uh, I also love that she has her dog Benji in the videos um, at the very beginning because he is the cuteness. And so of course I love seeing that. I also really like the fact that she has this motto of do what feels good. Um, that can mean different things to different people, but she does explain it in some of her beginner series where if she's asking you to do something that physically you just can't do yet, don't do it. Do what feels good. Uh, a lot of the times if there's a pose that I can't do, um, I usually do cow and cat pose or I do downward dog poses um, just to kind of keep my body moving at the same time that she is even though I may not be doing the same thing. It works out rather nicely and I've learned uh, over time of doing her videos um, that I can do more each and every time that I do them. So it's kind of nice to have that option and there's just some days that you just can't. <laughs> you just can't. No matter how hard you try, you do your best, but you just can't do everything. And that's okay. That's one thing I love about her. She makes it okay. Um, just like we do with Weight Watchers, um, we can't always be perfect 100% of the time, and that's okay. So we just got to keep that in mind and give ourselves grace when we know we can't um, do exactly what they're asking. Speaking of taking things with grace, I had the opportunity on the 13th of February to sit in with 55,000 other Weight Watchers members and listen to Oprah Winfrey um, and her guests about talking about giving yourself grace. I think a lot of people forget about that. We get too busy with work or with our families and we tend to forget about giving ourselves grace and taking care of ourselves. And that includes exercise, uh, relaxing, doing things that are just for us. And I think that we need to be more in tune with that. I really agreed with Oprah on that. Um, I didn't get to talk to her. I wish I could have because that would have just been everything. But it was a nice opportunity to get to listen to her speak and listen to other people speak about how they um, are handling their weight loss journey and how they give themselves grace when they need to. I really wish more people would do that, myself included. I tend to not be able to say no when I need to and I say yes way too often. Um, one of the goals that I have on my vision board for 2021 is learning how to say no more. I really feel like it's going to be beneficial to me. Um, although I would love to help everybody all the time, I'm going to try to say no more and say yes to myself. One of the things that I love about Yoga with Adrian videos is every month she has a theme and it goes for the entire month um, and I have done many of them so far uh, and I really find that I enjoy those type of, of videos. She's got a monthly theme and then she has a daily theme for each of the videos that she uploads and she kind of goes through it and ties it in with the different yoga poses and it is just very relaxing and kind of uh, teaches you different ways to cope with things. Um, or she has videos that are meant for meditation for anxiety, for example, or uh, yoga for your lower back if you have lower back problems. She has been a yogi for a long, long time and I just really, really appreciate her videos. Her voice is very soothing, which is always helpful. Um, and like I said, she does remind you throughout the video that if there's something that you can't do, that's okay. Do what feels good. Just to keep do something to keep moving and you'll be okay.
for this video I'm recording for you guys today I did choose a yoga with Adrian yoga video as I stated earlier um, I am using the yoga camp series which started in January of 2016 the theme of the video um, that I chose is yoga camp day one which is I accept and that's accepting the journey to connect with your body trimming up shaping up and loving yourself for who you truly are and I really like this mantra so that's the mantra I'm going to try to take along with me this week um, I'm not going to be doing like a full week of a yoga video for you guys and a full week of a kickboxing video or whatnot I'm just randomly um, throughout the month going to pepper in some exercise videos that I am trying out for you guys and let you guys know what my thoughts are on it. While doing this video I did find parts of it to be very easy. Uh, muscle memory was still kind of there for me um, but in some parts of it my muscles were like oh hello girl what are we doing? Um, it was a little bit uh, baffling to my body because I have not really been doing any kind of exercise other than normal walking day to day um, for a while. Uh, I kind of went into the slump of really just kind of giving up on the exercise thing. I was really upset that I couldn't go to the gym anymore. Um, I'm high risk uh, for that kind of thing so I cannot go. Um, and I loved going to the gym. I love the treadmill. I love the the weights and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I was a little bummed that I couldn't go anymore, but I cannot put myself at risk or my son. Uh, he is a post-cancer patient, so I can't put him at risk by going into the unknown, as I like to call it. Um, but this is an alternative that you can use by doing exercise videos at home. Um, I did purchase things like weights and a yoga mat and things like that so I could try to keep up with it um, but I think as most of us probably have going through COVID it's not always easy so uh, I gave myself grace took a little bit of time had my little pity party and now I'm back at it I hope you guys have enjoyed um, going through this video with me today um, it is the yoga camp day one with Yoga with Adrian, as I stated before, and I hope you enjoyed it. So after yoga, I did spend a little bit of time reading. I am trying to get back into that as part of my self-care, so I just entered this little excerpt of a time lapse of me reading my book. This is the current book that I'm reading. I am really, really highly recommending this to a lot of people that I know. Um, if you like the books and make you feel a little emotional, this is the perfect book for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.